Remember the good old days when Cartoon Network had an absolutely amazing lineup of cartoons? Shows like Dexter's Lab, Johnny Bravo, The Powerpuff Girls, Samurai Jack, Codename Kids Next Door, and so, so many more. Well, sadly, those days seem to be nothing but a distant memory these days. Anyway, I'm your host as always, KMX Time, and today I want to discuss why I think Cartoon Network sucks. So to fully grasp this, we must first take a look back at what made Cartoon Network so great in the 90s and early 2000s. Now, obviously, I am biased towards these cartoons of that time period because that is when I was a kid growing up and shows like Johnny Bravo or the Powerpuff Girls were my favorite shows. But that also doesn't mean that I don't like newer cartoons or newer shows on the network. I love Adventure Time and Regular Show and some more, there's not that many other than that, but other than that, those few current shows, after that, it stops being any good at all. But anyway, back to what made Cartoon Network so great and must watch TV back in the day. Back then, it seemed like they just cared more. They would have these amazing bumpers and outros and to commercial breaks. They were fully scripted and animated and voiced by our favorite characters. And yes, they still do this from time to time, but back then it just seemed more authentic. They even they used to remember to do this thing called these sweepstakes where you could call in during a marathon and try to win prizes. And I honestly remember calling over and over and over trying to win a mountain bike or try to wear, win a pair of Skechers or whatever it was they were trying to give away that day and I just remember things like that and they just you don't see that in today's Cartoon Network you don't feel that authenticity that you know kind-heartedness you just don't really feel that and it was the little things like that that made Cartoon Network feel like home for me and, and the kids of my generation it, it felt like we were a part of a family with the characters in the show and then we could connect with them on a much deeper level than today's shows. Today's shows, except for a handful of exceptions, seem to be mindless potty humor with little to actual no substance or you know character development or anything along the lines of being a good show. And of course, we have another massive cringeworthy thing that Cartoon Network loves to do these days and that is to make a good awful remake of classic shows. I mean, they have completely butchered some of my favorite older cartoons. Teen Titans Go is a total slap in the face to any fan of the original series or of the comics. It's like a kiddie version, slapstick style humor, drained all the greatness from the characters, which is a shame because those characters are so cool. And while the show isn't a completely unwatchable mess, it just aggravates me that it took such a great show and they watered it down so much. I mean, I know it's for a younger audience and as I get older, the network isn't really aiming to please me or people of my age anymore. They're trying to please a younger demographic, but still it was really upsetting to see uh, what they did to not only the Teen Titans, but also to Ben 10. Uh, but hands down, the absolute worst reboot they have done has to be, of course, the Powerpuff Girls. It is a joke what they did to that show, and it's just so upsetting. It, not bringing back the original voice actors for the girls was my first major clue that this series was going to be trash, and I could not have been more right about it. It is nearly unwatchable at times, and the writers seemingly just use memes as inspirations for episodes. It's just ridiculous. And of course, there's all now the now infamous uh, twerking scene. I mean, it's just like, why Cartoon Network? Why? Why would you do this to us? Why? It's just, well, it's terrible. I mean, how could they be so careless and stupid with these shows and drag them through the mud like this? It's just like a sign of the times that the executives or people behind the network just don't care about these shows anymore. As long as kids are watching them and as long as ratings are halfway decent, quality doesn't seem to matter anymore. Okay, I know I'm rambling on a bit here, but I have one last major point that I want to make, and that is the complete lack of variety on the network right now. It is insane to me that three shows make up over 80% of the total weekly airtime. Think about that. Three shows, 80% of the time. Just look at this graph. I mean, holy shit. This is a ton of Teen Titans Go. A ton. 143 episodes to be exact. And that is nearly 40% of on-air time for that week. 40% of the time that network is on air that's not in commercial that week was Teen Titans Go. Just one 
show. That's insane. Not only that, but the show suck. It's not even a good show. But on the other hand, look at this. There's only four total episodes of Adventure Time for the entire week. That's it. This is from just a few weeks ago. This is a schedule just from a few weeks ago. And not even a single regular show rerun. And they're, in my opinion, they're two best shows uh, and they've had in quite some time. Get a total of maybe an hour in the entire week. Whereas Teen Titans Go gets everything. Uh, but no, we just get Teen Titans Go, Gumball, and Clarence. Between those three shows, that is like 85% of the entire schedule. With a few shows sprinkled in here and there for maybe an hour, for a half hour, here and there throughout the week. And it's absolutely insane. Also, if you notice, the Powerpuff Girls, the new series, only has one episode airing during the entire week and it is a brand new episode and that gives me the impression that the network knows that that reboot is trash and no one likes it but they are obligated to play all the new episodes so they sneak it in on a Sunday night when no one's really paying attention and they only play it once kind of a weird little thing there now on the, let's take a look at a lineup from February 8th 2001 which happens to be my eighth birthday so on and also it was a Saturday so I know for a fact that I was watching Cartoon Network at some point during this day and just look at the diversity of shows in the morning you have things like Scooby-Doo the Flintstones then it moves on to the heavy hitters Johnny Bravo Dexter's Lab Cow and Chicken Tom and Jerry also notice that it's never more than two shows in a row of the same thing they keep cycling through until eventually it repeats some of the more popular shows again in the evening again let's look at this one from july 1st 2017 teen titans ran a total of 40 episodes in one day 40 episodes including a giant marathon block from 8 30 a.m all the way until nearly 6 p.m. That is over nine straight hours of one show on a Saturday. That is unreal. I can't believe the Cartoon Network has dedicated almost 40% of its on-air time to one shitty show. But that right there tells you just how little they care, how little effort they put into making a diverse and entertaining lineup of cartoons. Nope, let's just hit them with a 10-hour block marathon of Teen Titans Go!, They'll watch it, they don't care, whatever. This is all they do, and this is why Cartoon Network sucks ass these days. Which is so, so, so sad to see because I really did love this network, and I still do, but like back in the day, growing up in the 90s and early 2000s, and the heyday of Cartoon Network really made me love this network and these shows and these characters, and uh, it's sad to see the direction that it's taken uh, I do think that it can recover from this. I don't think it's like an unfixable mess. I think it's just a few alterations here and there, adding a little bit more variety, maybe putting some more, you know, quality into their shows, you know, being more selective with what shows they put on and uh, things like that can fix this network and hopefully get it back to where it was during the 1990s and the early 2000s when it really was the best network on the air. Whew, that was quite the rant, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you guys did, please, please, please do me a favor and drop a like on this video. And feel free to subscribe. If you guys are new around here, I do all kinds of cartoon and video game content. If you guys are interested in anything like that, check out some of my previous videos on Cartoon Network and some of the shows on the network as well. Also, let me know what you guys think about the current state of Cartoon Network down in the comments below. I would love to read what you guys think. Do you guys like Teen Titans Go? Do you guys think they should be adding more variety to the lineup? Do you guys like reboots? Do you like what they're doing? Do you hate what they're doing? I would love to read all your comments and get a good discussion about them going down in the comments down below. Love reading comments and hanging out with you guys and all that kind of fun stuff. So make sure they're dropping that down below. But until next time, guys, remember that's always came back time somewhere. So until then, take it easy and peace out.